Hey everybody, Harley's Farm here. In today's video, we are going to feed all the animals. We have, I think, 17 if I did not count wrong. So, real quick, last video was terrible. I can admit that I did not get nearly as much views. Thank you guys so much on my first video. You guys gave me so much views, 105 views. It's crazy. <laughs> um, so in our horse barn, I I really hope this video is a lot better. So we have, uh, so this stall right here is the one with the pig. She's snoring really loud. Um, this stall is for my horse. I think I said this stall is for my horse. And this is with all the goats. Um, I'll show you them after because. Okay, I'm gonna flip the screen around and I'll be right back. Okay, flip the screen. Um, we give them that kind of food for our goats. And for the pig, it's like the same thing, but it's pig food. So we will be feeding them the food. We don't like to feed them the food, but that's all we have up here. That's the same food. So. so sorry, we're gonna. Have to open that. That's our youngest goat. She was born on May. So we named her Sunshine because she was the first. She was born the first day that it was actually warm out. So, so that's all of them. Jack is right here. The dad, the baby, and then the mom. The mom's just naturally fat, I think, but she's pretty fat. I have to say so myself. So I don't even know if you guys saw my face. I don't have someone holding the camera. So we're gonna give them another another skirt to have for more because I am struggling here. I'm trying to set you guys up. There, I hope you guys see me. Everything's froze, so we have to give them water. So, because everything's froze. So, I will show you guys this part. I got it. It's my worst bucket, but we put water in it and it's all froze, so it's so. You know, I'm gonna shout out to Stephanie Murado. She's the one that got me started on horses, and one of her shorts was. Horses just tend to poop in their feed, but I guess goats do too. Froze, so that's kind of gross, but I'm gonna take you guys and let's dump this out outside. So, it's kind of gross, but Stephanie Morado, she, like, I love her videos. I watch, like, every single one of them. So, yeah. Do you see that? It's kind of gross, so that did not work at all. Okay, so there we go. It's an empty bucket. We're going to bring it back inside because it's snowing and raining. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's bad. So I'm going to put it on this little hook and we're going to turn the water on. I'm so weak with one hand. Um. Okay, I'm gonna put that down real quick. Gosh, okay. I'm gonna have to set you guys up again. I'm just winging something. Hope you guys can see.
in the bucket. So I'm going to empty that out. And then. Ow. Okay, so. We're going to speed this up. I'm gonna go open the door. Okay, so on the last video, I showed you different treats. But these are the treats my horse likes more. And you know what's so weird? Two things. First of all, no store sells sugar cubes anymore. It's so weird. Because horses like sugar cubes. Oh, she already has water. Wow. And another thing that's really weird, I don't want her to cave, but another thing that's really weird is my horse doesn't like mints, like um, mints for horses, but he likes mint treats. It's really weird. Tell me if you have your horse do that. So that's Mama Pig. So I'm gonna feed her a little and I'm gonna get out of here before she tramples me. I'm not scared of her, but I don't want her to get out. So then we're gonna hit that. Gosh, I'm having trouble with that. Got that. And we're gonna go down to the other pigs. Okay, so the reason we have these little Mouth, mouth, oh my, I cannot speak. Um, mouse proof, proofed, um, little feed things. It's for a horse, dog, chicken, cows, and all sorts of animals you can use. I think my dad got them at Tractor Supply, I'm not for sure, but my dad got them somewhere, and they're really nice. So, like, you can go like that, and like, oh my gosh, sorry. See this little piece right here? It connects, this little piece connects to there, and then you cannot open it. And this comes up and locks it somehow. I forget, but like that, and then it's locked that way. And it's really nice, and it's a decent size, but we got two. So I have to get a feed bag. There's literally no feed bag out here. Oh yeah, we go through feed bags like so much. Like that is like in th like two weeks or less. So I'm gonna feed chickens real quick because I'm gonna have to get a feed bag and I really don't wanna feel like that doing that right now. So I have fed chickens before with you on my last video so you probably if you watch my last video you probably will know so they got some water left they got some food i'll give them another scoop so with the chickens we kind of leave it like it they like we just leave them in here my grandpa built, I think my grandpa built, yeah, my grandpa built all three um, little areas out there. So what's really cool is this barn we're in right now, this little chicken barn, this little chicken barn, this thing in there, um, all this barn burnt down like when I was really young which in two days it's my birthday if you guys don't mind me asking not asking but telling you and there's my little baby look at him he's so cute oh now it is raining guys look at what that cow is so 
it's like hailing, but really not. So Stephanie Morado lives in Florida and I live in Ohio. So we're completely different states away. So our weather's so different. <laughs> Hers is short weather. Um, on her last video, she actually said it was getting cold, but it's short weather usually. It is snowing for us. So we're out here again because we have to feed them. Really cool, since I haven't been t telling you guys tips, there's no really tips about chickens. Just make sure you feed them and get the air right. Okay, a tip about a chicken. Just a, a second. about a chicken is that if you give them their own eggs, it is good for them. But don't because then they're going to just have a tin to not even give you their eggs. They're just going to keep eating them. So you will have no eggs. Sorry, it's so cool. Oh, yeah, before I forget... The reason I have not been posting is because we had COVID and it had been going on for like th two weeks almost. If it's tomorrow, it'll be two weeks. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go get a feed bag, feed those. Okay, a tip about emus is, oh yeah, the girls have, like hatch out the eggs, not hatch out, the girls have the eggs. And then the boys lay on them until they hatch. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm in my, the quail barn getting a few bags. So I'm going to set you guys up so you guys can see me suffer. I'll be right back. Got it. <laughs> I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. I'm back. Oh gosh, I'm out of breath. So, it took me so long. I'm going to edit it out, but this door would not open. So, I spent like, like 30 seconds trying to open this door. And I kept dropping. Anyway, it took longer than it seemed. So, I... Uh, Still can't think of a tip about a pig, but you always can look it up. A tip about these cows, I don't even know if you guys can see. Uh, these cows is, they're very skittish. So in summer, I always go out and try to feed them because they're skittish. And if like, I'm trying to get Harley from the field, they'll like run at me because they're skittish and they don't want to be harmed. Not like I would harm them, but they would think that I would be harming them. So, I can't really, I fed the pigs, but I stopped the video, so it seemed like I didn't, but I did. Anyway, I fed the pigs. The reason I did not get that on video is because literally they were asleep so there you couldn't see them um so i stopped the video um since it was kind of a short video i will i want to do something but i don't know what to do so comment down below what is your favorite animal it, out of the animals we have goats cows horses pigs emus chickens um quail yeah and we do have baby pigs i will show you next time because they're inside and um they were sleeping and if you wake them up, then you're gonna have to feed them. So we're bottle feeding two. And the, the mom actually had six, which is crazy because it, it is very hard to take care of six. Okay, um, so uh, I fed all of them. Okay, so next video, I will 
since it's still gonna be cold because I'm definitely not gonna post I'm gonna post less more oh my gosh the next video I can make like animal cakes Stephanie Murado did it and she successfully did it so I'll try um with a different recipe my hat's all messed up I know and I and summer I will bathe all the animals hopefully on camera eh, maybe hard but it was successful this time thumbs up I was trying to do that um so next time I will have a it won't be so close to my face because um, I'm missing the tool that I got for Christmas. And before you guys leave me, or I leave you, one of the two, I wanted to say thank you guys so much to get me 105 views. And just to say, those are baby peacocks. Oh yeah, what I was going to say down there is how you can tell if the peacock is a boy or a girl is when it grows up like that one down there it will rather have a green neck that one's starting to have a green neck i think but um the reason it doesn't yet because it's not fully grown so um yeah if it's a blue neck, it will be a boy. And if it's a green neck, it will be a girl. <laughs> My brother's being funny. Okay, so thank you guys. If you like the video, please subscribe and, <laughs> and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.